Today, I will be reading on Leo. However, if you are not a Leo, well, Leo is in your chart. All 12 signs are in your chart. But if this reading fit you, then this reading is for you. But today we are reading on Leos and for the Leo that's in you and in your chart. I'll say it that way. What we're starting here with is a five of pentacles, which lets me know this is very earthy and this is somebody that is very stuck in their way, that is very confrontational and maybe just bringing a hardship on themselves when you don't have to. See, uh, we see the world. We see that that is, an, again, coming to a new, uh, um, coming to the end of something, but you're putting up resistance, not wanting to accept change, not wanting to move on, being set in your ways, not willing, just keep moving in an opposite direction. Instead of embracing what is and accepting truth, you don't want to do that. You want to continue with doing it your way, which all it does, it brings heartache and misery in the end. If you do it the way, all you have to do is turn from this way of thinking. Turn away from it. It's being stubborn, being hard about a situation or a thought or whatever this hardness that you feel as though you got to stand 10 toes down. Whatever that is, you need to put that behind, turn around and look towards your present and not living in your past, your past present. You need to look now at your present and see right now, here is a gift. Make your peace with that thing. It's a new beginning. It's going to happen whether you want it or not. Because at the end of the day, everything is going to work in your favor. You will have what you want. You're at the end of a cycle. Whatever this thing that you've been doing, you're at the end of it. You're at the end. You might as well accept it and deal with it. Oh, mm. Well, there you have it. You're at the end of a cycle. It could be good for you if you turn around, stop being resist, res, you know, putting up resistance and restraints and just give in and just humble yourself. Just no one has to know just you and look at it from a different perspective or whatever that thing that have you so stuck that you don't want to give. You don't want to bend. You don't want to move. You're being hard. Turn around. Give in so goodness can come in. There's been uh, plentiful waiting for you. There is a new beginning and it's going to happen. Either it's going to be easy or it could just be Oh, it's going to be hard and painful. But if you give in, you see the, the world here is saying it could be tender. It could be easy. It could be gentle to you. If you give in, let it go, whatever that thing is that you won't let go of. You're being hard and stubborn about it. Release it. Let it go. So your new beginning can be sweet. If not, it's going to blow up anyway. So it's no need in holding on. So this could be a moment of enlightenment. It could be a moment of enlightenment, meaning, yes, a starting over, a redo, a rebuild, a start over. And all start overs are not bad. Start overs can be very, very good. You know, but we got to be willing to take a chance. Sometimes things happen. It's just nothing we can do about it. And this is where you are. These cars are calling for you to turn around. Stop running and accept it. You're putting yourself in hardship for no reason at all. All you have to do is accept the things that you can change. Make your peace and go with it and stop kicking against a rock, which you can't win. It's okay to surrender. And you know what? It's okay to be wrong. At least you know that whatever you're holding on to is coming down and it isn't going to be easy. But keep running for it. It's going to come down anyway. I really hope that you can understand what I'm saying about this reading.